Hi, I'm Anna. Welcome to What to Say. Do you know what to say when you agree and disagree? Listen out for useful language for agreeing and disagreeing. Then, we'll practice saying the new phrases. After this. So? I'm not convinced by that idea. Why? Well, this design is just too simple. It's not simple, it's minimal. Plus, it's what the client asked for. I'm not so sure. Look. Look at these designs here. I think this is the style that the client wants. Mm, I think I disagree. They said they wanted it clean and minimal. These designs are clean and minimal. Look, don't get me wrong, Amir. I like them, but I don't think they fit the brief. For example, here, there's just a bit too much going on. Okay, I see what you mean, but without all the color, it would look a bit empty. True. Okay, how about taking that and that away? So it still looks interesting, but less busy. Okay, maybe you've got a point there. Actually, that has given me an idea. So we removed the blue. I think that creates a nice balance. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Changing the circles helped too. I agree. So we're happy with this now? Yes. Definitely. <laughs> so it looks like we can agree. Occasionally. Hello again. I'm pleased that Paul and Amir agreed with each other in the end. So, did you notice the useful phrases used for agreeing and disagreeing? Listen to me and then repeat. I'm not convinced by that idea. I'm not convinced by that idea. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I think I disagree. I think I disagree. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think they fit. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think they fit. I see what you mean, but it looks a bit empty. I see what you mean, but it looks a bit empty. Okay, maybe you've got a point there. Okay, maybe you've got a point there. I think you're right. I think you're right. Yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. I agree. I agree. Try and use some of these phrases the next time you agree and disagree in English. Bye for now.